going to tell you at an arena named Phillips, and you're going to tell me at the Atlanta Comedy <laughs> Theater. Right. true. Tomorrow, be there. All right. Grand, Grand right. Show, I know Grand I'll Grand. be there. Don't miss it. Uh-huh, something happened that night, the very next night, when Cat Williams showed up to the Atlanta Comedy Theater, and both Wanda Smith and her husband was there. All right, y'all, so I have yet to see this Cat William and Wanda Smith interview in full, and I figured why not watch it for the first time with you all. So we're going to do just that. Let's go. There you go. So, okay, so you're doing this comedy special. Yeah. Um, your boy's right here with you that's going to do it. Can I talk to you and tell me what does it take to make a great special, sir? Because nobody makes them like you. Well, I, I appreciate you saying that. Um... That only speaks to quantity. I, I do have more comedy specials than any comedian breathing or dead, so I understand the question. Uh, that's only seven more than Richard Pryor. You six have seven more, more than Richard Pryor? Six more than Martin Lawrence and six more than Chris Rock. Are you serious? Five more than Dave Chappelle, even though he put out four. And, and, uh, the Are you one. serious, Cat? You put out that many? Those are just facts, sir. <laughs> how, how many? How many is that? Total? Nine. So you've done nine yeah. filmed comedy stand-up specials with, without ever getting financed or having a deal with anybody. You did them by yourself? Yes, I own them one hundred percent. I have the top two comedy specials on Showtime, HBO, Comedy Central, and we just moved to Netflix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why now, they don't. I, I, that's did, why they I don't didn't promote, know that. Nobody does. They don't promote it or sell the items after they come out because I own them lock stock and barrel and I don't have any uh, Caucasian partners or right. people that invest I'm 50 I've never had a bank loan or a car lease in my life are you serious that's correct so so has you know we always hear like these comedians come and say oh they got the big Netflix deal has has I, like I'm Netflix on, or anybody on, ever hit my, Cat Williams and I'm, said I'm on my 15th consecutive 100 city tour on the exact day that Monique was asking for a Netflix boycott, Netflix had just cut me a check for $2 million for the special that I got paid $300,000 to do in Jacksonville. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty then. Are you serious? <laughs> That's how it's done. Cat Williams over here talking about the fact that he's funding these specials himself and then selling them and making more money off of them. Getting his money back that he invested in them and then making more money on the back end. Two mil from Netflix. <laughs> or I'm really good at jokes, you tell me. No, <laughs> I think you serious, bro. That's, I, I just say, are you serious? Cause, cause that's interesting news to people. Thanks need to Atlanta, to Pimp Chronicles has already grossed over $24 million alone as one special. Wow. Because of Atlanta. That's like right. There, are, there your... are parts of the population that feel like I'm from Atlanta and I'm from Ohio. Yeah, and right. I've never said anything differently. Yeah, no, we definitely feel like Cat is from here for sure. Right. Well, what, we what, you what's your, your your thoughts on Netflix? I mean, they're giving deals. Like we just heard, Tiffany Haddish has got a deal as well. And I mean, they're mm -hmm. opening up things to comics, and you know, for them to open up a door like that. What are you? What are your honest thoughts about Netflix? Uh, I. Well, everybody has to understand that Netflix doesn't have an opinion on stand-up comedy. They base what they pay you by the mm. amount of ticket sales for your last tour. I'm glad he said that. Mind you, this is before the stuff with Dave Chappelle. And Dave Chappelle, Netflix back him. Because they don't have an opinion like that on comedy. But they know Dave Chappelle, shit, gonna bring in the big bucks. Everybody has to understand that Netflix doesn't have an opinion on stand-up comedy. They base what they pay you by the amount mm. of ticket sales for your last tour. Oh, so Monique's that. last tour had 316,000 tickets. Mm -hmm. Therefore, that's what she got offered. My last tour had $2.4 million um, Two million, tickets. Uh, tickets, tickets. And so that's what the offer was. Wow. So. If wow. people understand that it, it's not um, personal. Personal, right. Uh, then they could just, I didn't know that. for free, take their ass to work and get their numbers up. Yeah. Dude, the but last Netflix, time you... But Netflix was... don't call nobody. That's the joke. The joke is, Netflix ain't giving me... First of all, Netflix ain't call you. Knock it off. It's Coca-Cola knocking on people's door to see what type of <laughs> beverage they having today. So they go buy those ticket sales. That's, that's dope. What else could they go buy? Yeah. 
Well, and I thought it was like popularity. What comedian don't think everybody can't wait for their next special? Mm. Mm. <laughs> right. Who, who don't think they got something to say? The fact of the matter is what makes a great comedy special is if 100 people talk at the same time that you talking, are you saying something different than them people are saying? No. Mm. Because if you are, then you deserve a special. And if you don't, you're going to find out you're not special. <laughs> because they're going to let you do your special, Gerard Carmichael, but nobody's going to watch it. Mm. Mm. They're going to let you be a star, Lil Rail, but you're ugly. <laughs> and white people don't believe in ugly stars. They think you have to be somebody that women want to sleep with and men want to be. But because we black, they say, oh, you don't even deserve that. So you get Kevin Hart, Lil Rail, Gerard Carmichael, all in a row, Hannibal Burris, just dudes that no woman would talk to in Lennox Mall, something. let alone you making a movie stars. Why? Because you know ain't nobody gonna sleep with them. You only got Tiffany Haddish. She been doing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. And they are already ready to down Monique and up somebody mm -hmm. who has showed them Girls Trip. Did you think she wrote Girls Trip goofball? Right. Or do you think that was already a script and they handed it to her? It, it's up to you, whatever you want to believe. I, I'm the introduction to Tiffany Haddish in the movie School Dance. The clip for School Dance has been seen more times than the movie has. That's just a fact. Mm -hmm. But but the movie wow. girl, the the girls trip movie. Yes, ma'am. The one with that four was... with with three of our greatest black actresses in it. You right, mean that one? Right, right. But oh. I'm just saying, Tiffany Haddish... Ma'am, you could have Tiffany, had that role yeah. and everything that happened would have happened yeah. unless you thought you were necessary to write the Saturday Night Live monologue. I'm Is a she... writer. I only care about what you write. I don't care about what you read. Everybody can read that can read. Every... What did you think? Everybody can read that can read. <laughs> Ow! Yo! Man, this is way better than I... Look, I knew it was good, but I didn't know it was great. This is amazing. About the movie, I, I laughed from beginning to end. I felt like... I thought it I was a like, great script when mm -hmm. I saw it in 2004. Right. Wow. In 2004? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I have it. <laughs> I'm, 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 but I'm, I'm so happy for her, though, because... That's what it do. That, that That's baby... That's what it do. I, I tear up thinking about the break that her. she got. And to see and her do her thing. She, she passed 46 female Ooh. black comedians that I know personally that I put on tour mm. who have a hard time getting a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A after they headline seven shows at a club for 2500 a week. But, but people so, like real, I'm, and that's why they that like what her. They, they like? They love real. Oh, because everybody's real then, so don't trip. No, no, tip, they like Wherever Tiffany Wherever you Haddish at, under the sound of my voice, real. do you have a real core worker? <laughs> right. Do you have a ratchet friend? Do you have a sister? Do you have a cousin? Do you have a nephew? Do you have a niece? Is they so ghetto? When did that become marketable? Knock it off. They like her because she want to sleep with a white man. That's that's why the only thing she said was, I want to give it to Brad Pitt. The only thing before that in the movie with me is I, I slept with this white man and I got a white baby. She had a white husband for the 14 years she'd been doing comedy and then all of a sudden divorced him, then said he abused her, then wrote a book, then said he didn't. And then now we're at Brad Pitt. So, hey, you can say whatever you want. She said she got a disease for JJ. Don't nobody check for that. I support Linnell, Melanie Camacho, Miss yep. Laura. I, all the people that got skipped over in the list between now and then. It's no shade to nobody. Yeah, Melanie's well take, taken in, yeah. too. People really love Melanie. I love the fact that you took her out on tour. Martin Lawrence took her out on tour. Chris Tucker took Melanie out on tour. And when she comes to Atlanta, she does well. That is not well. the point. The point but is... she's not, the she's not is, there. The point is, we are in the only business where, as a black woman what you look like is not supposed to be held against you. And time and time again, they mm -hmm. show you that you can be sidetracked by anything light skin. Mm. Mm. So, knock wow. it off. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a quick break. Uh, Red Grant again. Yeah, Atlanta Comedy Theater, make sure y'all are there. This brother will sell out. Please believe it. Atlanta Comedy Theater, make sure y'all are in the building. If you want tickets. I'm actually about to be at Atlanta Comedy Theater this weekend supporting a buddy of mine that does stand up. And um, I'm about to go see Cat Williams next week. <laughs> 
in Alabama. It's going to be a good show. Text my name right now. Wanda to 41411. Get your tinky shouted. We'll come right back. We'll be right back. Red, you were talking about your daughters trying to be smarter than you? Yeah, they always trying to be smarter than me. How old is she, though? She's nine. You know what I mean? And she's a... Uh, She's looking at Nick Jr. She's looking at all these little different things that makes her smart. And, and she got an iPad. You know, we have an iPad. iPad exactly. changed the game. You know it what did, I mean? really. Changed the whole game. Now they, they can get information that they had at any time and tell you you ain't nothing. And you dumb. Like, what did she say? I mean, you know, she, well, first of all, she cursed the other day and it kind of, it shocked me. She said, uh, she said she was P-I-S, you know, P Oh, right, yeah. right. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh, you are? And I had to catch myself, like, do I? Because when you curse around your parents when you was young, it was a different yeah, level. Yeah, you you know? got to slap right away. Yeah, it was no waiting. Up. Red, that is not a cuss word. <laughs> it's not a right. cuss word. The white right. <laughs> right. Right. I you thought it was okay. She said M F for something. <laughs> Was she pissed off? What? Come on now. Somebody on the radio spelled that out. And what? Went. Yeah. What? Man, really? This came from a nine-year-old. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's probably in private school. Right. A uh, home school. Her teacher probably said, I thought it was three already. That's why I'm pissed. Really red. We thought she said okay, so the she S word said she was of word. Look, as uh, you can tell, he's got a ratchet child. Uh, Basically raising herself. Cussing like a sailor nine years oh old. My God. <laughs> That's a harsh word in my household, man. Well, baby, damn. Gonna, baby gonna get kicked out of online school for this type of language. <laughs> You're not allowed to log into this academy anymore, young lady. <laughs> Wow. Nine years old. That was hilarious. Y'all ain't gonna tell me how to raise my child. You don't have a 17-year-old dog. What? <laughs> Yo, ain't nobody telling you how to raise your child. Telling somebody you pissed off still ain't you cursing now, regardless. What are you talking about, bro? This 17-year-old daughter gonna be saying, I got a PP father. <laughs> father. 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 Boy, you are crazy. Uh, do, you, do you use profanity around your kids? Uh, not around them, but they hear me on stage. I know. And it, and it messes with them. I'm a cusser. What about you, Kat? Your kids when they were little? Oh, no. I, did, I didn't cuss around them. Mm. They, just, they never seen me. They still the, <laughs> like, I got three daughters that still have not seen me smoke a cigarette or anything. Have they seen your stand-up? Like, some people bring their kids to the show. Have they ever been to your show? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a single father, so I know. I, I'm saying my, my children have always been in the business. And actually, the only thing I've actually been proud of publicly, because, you know, I have 19 felonies, so I couldn't be that proud publicly. But the only thing I'm publicly <laughs> proud of is that there aren't any pictures of my children um, mm -hmm. available on the Internet in any way, shape, form, or fashion. All right. So, to be able to protect a squad of black children's privacy mm -hmm. for 19 uh, years has been a blessing. That's dope. You cook? Do you cook for your kids? Absolutely. Tell me some of the things you cook that they're proud of. Like, Dad made some. You got the best spaghetti. You got Excuse the best me. steak. Excuse what do you me. have? <laughs> <laughs> like what you cook. As a father of seven with an unlimited food budget, you can make... Uh, whatever is necessary. I said what they like. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I said answering. what do they like? You Just do because think. you're a poor interviewer doesn't mean. <laughs> I said you answer the question. Hey y'all, this is where it started right here. This is where it got started right here. Then and just tell Man, me. Man, you're what a they strong like. black woman. <laughs> is answer it okay for question. me to answer? Come on. You keep interrupting the answer. Oh Everyone can hear it. It sounds like you like me a little bit. It's starting to bleed over the airway. <laughs> it is. Oh, really? I want to let everybody on. know that Wanda got some lipstick on right now with enough glitter for the 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Kissable lips. So, okay, so what do you cook, Kat? All right, so the thing is, with seven, you become a good cook just because you got too many different opinions like four of these is daughters so i got a daughter that <laughs> that only eats vegetables mm. and then i got a daughter that only eat meat mm. and i got a daughter that doesn't do dairy mm. wow I, you know what i'm saying yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so you're 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 cooking you're cooking for whoever is four out of five right yeah and then you're making the adjustments from there so you might make lasagna but you understand that only four or five people out of eight 
I'm going to have lasagna. I'm going lasagna. So then you have to do a vegetarian lasagna just so that you can cut the difference. Mm. And then because these are Negro children, you make <laughs> chicken wings and make one dozen of those. So you got a regular lasagna, a vegetarian lasagna, and 12 wings. <laughs> and then you fill it out with salad and bread. And then adult, adult here gets that glass of port reserve from there Chateau Alain. Chateau Alain, And the baby. young children get that sweet tea from Publix, and there's a meal with a budget of about $64 that'll feed seven people. All right. All right. I love it. The Hood <laughs> Education Cat Williams. Okay. All right. Red Grant. How many kids you got, one? I have three boys. Excellent. Yes, I do. Aren't boys simple? Mm hmm Aren't boys simple? Um, they can be. They can be. Yeah. Wanda knows she... I'm what? She didn't do as much cooking in the latter years as she uh, did in the beginning. Uh, whatever. I cook. I do it all. I didn't say that she did. Well, didn't. that's all right. I did it in the beginning and the middle and the end. What's your favorite wait, wait, thing to wait, cook? Wait, 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 your boys. Um, yeah. They like for me to I do a really nice broccoli. They like my broccoli and they love my baked chicken. Hey, and hey, right now, them. look up your phone and see what it takes to make broccoli. And tell me he doesn't oh, say, he doesn't say uh, heat up water. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's the only step in broccoli. Simmer, uh, water, whatever. simmer. Have you ever uh, heard of burned uh, broccoli? Uh, Can you burn hater. broccoli? You can't burn it because it's made in a pot of water. You don't, you don't know nothing about. You know what uh, her second meal they love from her? What I do with corn. Oh, I like to dip it out that can what? and I put it in there. And then I get a can of water and I put it on there. And then I get some salad They don't expect that. I sprinkle uh, some salad rains on my corn. Cook. Whatever. Yes, ma'am. You good at eating stuff up. Uh, you good. <laughs> you good at eating stuff up. Yeah, telling us about what's going on in jail. Yep. No, she did. Remember Cat Williams said that before this interview started, Wanda approached him and said that she wouldn't say certain things about his past. She wouldn't say certain stuff in the interview out of respect. She got her little feelings hurt off a little baby joke, and then she wanted to take it there. Oh, you're good at telling us about what's going on in jail. Yes, ma'am, and getting out to tell <laughs> But I'm going to tell you at an arena named Phillips, and you going to tell me at the Atlanta Comedy That's Theater. Right. true. Tomorrow, be there. All right. Red Grant right. show. I know Red I'll Grant. be there. Don't miss it. Red Grant, <laughs> Cat Williams. Uh-huh, something happened that night, the very next night, when Cat Williams showed up to the Atlanta Comedy Theater, and both Wanda Smith and her husband was there. Let's watch that clip before we finish this interview. All right, y'all, we back. You're good at telling us about what's going on in jail. Yes, ma'am, and getting out to tell you. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you at an arena named Phillips, and you're going to tell me at the Atlanta Comedy That's Theater. Right. true. Tomorrow, be there. All right. Red Grant right. show. I know Red I'll Grant. be there. Don't miss it. Red Grant, <laughs> Cat Williams, thank y'all for coming through. Man. And thank you for having me. Thank, thank you. you for coming in. I see why people come to Wanda's show. Yeah. Because Frank Ski puts it down. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Get on out of here with that crazy ass. Uh-huh. Is he crazy? And here up and get to the salon. All right, it's the people section viewer three. Your hair is kind of... <laughs> that joint was... My hair is 19 inches long and I have no perm. <laughs> you don't? Oops. Oh, that's not a perm. No, it is not. Nice lady. That's come natural. Run, come, run, come run one of your gnarled fingers. <laughs> While you on air, what, what, come on. so they can hear you laugh. Come on, come on, let me come over here. No, 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 that's not how that works. Oh, okay, well then stay over there. Don't worry, ain't nobody putting their hands through yours. That's right, they don't have to. Uh -huh. I don't want them to. Get on out of here. You okay? <laughs> you okay? You okay? You Only one of our you hands moving right? while we talk. Are you all right? You are you okay? Red Grant, Grant, Atlanta Comedy. Tell Wanda to take off them headphones and that wig. And make sure. That wig and that headphones come together. And take off them old ass clothes. He said that.
That wig and them hair phones come together. <laughs> oh, snap. Her husband was mad. Oh, how about that? Yeah, they're old. Versace, yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's it's said, Versace. I want to apologize to the people at Versace Collection. <laughs> This is your 2019 summer but, line that but, hasn't come but you, out. But you had but, to open it up and but, show us it was it, Versace. I wanted to. No, I didn't have to open it, it up. Did, These though. people are on radio. They can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, but you opened it up so we could see it. Yes, ma'am. Well, happy, happy, happy. And happy, and happy, happy. what? How would anybody know that's Versace if it's not labeled on the outside Versace? It is going to hate us, tell you. They're going to hate. Well, happy, happy, happy. And happy, happy, happy whatever for store is for the Black Lane Bryant. That's right. That's right. Very <laughs> oh, proud. Okay, let's Very play some proud. music real quick if we can. We going to a break real quick? Very All right, proud. so we go to a break. Shout outs to Forever 21. Yeah. That's collection. That's right. Shout out. They don't remember me for a while now, right? I'm not the right one in Jones, though. Get this inmate out of here. If, if, <laughs> if you can't get your blood pressure down, you can't call me that. <laughs> She said, get this inmate out of here. <laughs> if you can't keep your blood pressure down. If your cholesterol is 600. Whatever, little mama. I'm little mama's baby daddy. No, you little mama. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hey, and what are you, girl? <laughs> You probably shouldn't talk about sizes. No, that's okay. You're big on the radio. That's right. And you're, and you're big Turn in it prison. Down. And you're yes, big in prison. I've never been to prison. Uh, you have 19 felonies, times. no convictions. Yeah. Knock yeah. it off. Prison okay. and jail aren't the same. No, no. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Calm, calm no, no, no. Down. Calm down. Only calm, one of us has $12 calm, calm worth of jewelry on. No, no, no. No, no, $12. No, 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 no. That $12 all is available. If you want to if you want to have Wanda's jewelry, please uh, go to sit go or quick trip at any point. If you buy two packs of Newport. Yeah, my man, my man's about to explode. You see his face? Yo, yo, look at his face. Look at. <laughs> I gotta put that in the thumbnail. Oh snap, that's too funny. The Newport 100s, they will give you everything Wanda has on right now for $7.99, and it comes with a free car wash. Won't you come on down? Yes, thank you. Absolutely. We appreciate it. The show please starts at 9, her. Wanda gets to the stage at 9.17. Uh, please Shay, come on down. Oh, Shay, please come get Miss Cat uh -huh. and do her She's hair. She's on. Come get Miss Cat. What I tell y'all last time, this is what they do. When they can't win the battle, when they can't win the argument to a man, they gonna call him feminine. They gonna refer to him as a woman. Women like this don't like to lose no argument with no man. For whatever reason, they feel like just because a man is arguing with them, that that makes him feminine or woman-like because they so used to arguing with other women. They feel like that's the thing that only women can do is argue. <laughs> she tried the wrong one and lost major. Wanda gets to the stage at 917. Uh, please come on down. Oh, Shay, please come get Miss Cat uh -huh. and do her hair. She's almost out of breath. Be careful now. Even on the radio, you yeah. can hear the fact that exercise has crept into her vocabulary. Yeah. Hey, we have little mama. We're done. You already used that one. Don't yeah. repeat your jokes, hey, Fresh Comic. Oh, God. Don't repeat your jokes, Fresh Comic. Get your ass out of here. Man, when I tell y'all that was a classic, man. That was a classic. What was your favorite moment from this interview? Comment your favorite moment down below. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. <laughs>